Hey y'all, I know it's been a minute since I've done a video, but let's just get right into it. If you're new to my channel or if you've been here before, you'll see that I've done some reviews for Love and Marriage Huntsville. And so it is with sadness that I announced the death of Kiki Jabbar. She was actually one of my favorite people on the show and she was only 42 years young. And considering that I've watched the show from the beginning, Granted, I haven't caught up with this most recent season. I'm getting a little tired of Huntsville right now. But considering she struggled with abuse of drugs and things of that nature, you know, um, it hit a little hard to hear her passing. And the news of Kiki's passing was broken by fellow YouTuber Marcella Speaks. It says... It is with extreme sadness that we announced the passing of our beloved Kiki. She passed away peacefully at home surrounded by love, Speak says during a YouTube live stream. She was a mom, a sister, and a great friend, full of life, love, and laughter. She will be sorely missed, and at this time, we are asking for respect and privacy in our moment of grief while we process this great loss. The Jabbar family and the Scott family. Jabbar's cousin and co-star Letitia Scott asked for privacy following news of Kiki's passing and with no cause of death revealed at the moment. At this time, Tisha says, we are asking for respect and privacy in our moment of grief while we process this great loss. This is a hard time for our family, Letitia wrote on Instagram. Now, I opened up Instagram and I saw Letitia post this. Um... And I was kind of like, okay, what's going on? Like, this is some drama that's going on on the show that, you know, it's just real extra because, you know, Maurice got arrested and they always talking about how the Scots is doing all this extra stuff. And I saw that Maurice and Marcel both liked that post and Tisha turned off the comments or whatever. And so I went to Kimmy's Instagram. And for some reason, when I found out that it was Kiki that passed, my mind correlated to Kimmy for some reason. But anyways, I saw that Kimmy had posted like four hours prior. And so I'm like, what is going on? What's going on? I checked Maurice's Instagram. He ain't really post nothing like that. I checked Marceau's. He ain't really post nothing like that. And then later on, I talked to my mom and she was like, did you hear about Kiki? And I heard my mom make this gasp, right? But I'm like, oh, you know, what celebrity done pass now? That literally is what crossed my mind, but I didn't think it would be anything like this. And then maybe about an hour or so passed, and then I went on Kimmy's Instagram, and I saw that she posted this, you know, rest easy, my love. And then she said, good night, in the caption, praying for you, Amin, Amiri, Aubrey, and Ace. And I guess that's Kiki's husband, kids, and stuff like that. And it's just such sad news to hear like you know my mind went to Tisha as well because I'm like I hope that they were at least on decent terms when Kiki passed and sometimes that's not always the case but you know they they used to really go through it on the show and I just really hope like I don't know that they were able to heal a little bit of something and according to this article on Deadline posted today, Kiki Jabbar's family friend addresses death of 11 Mary Huntsville star. Kiki Jabbar, a reality TV personality featured on Love and Mary Huntsville, died at the age of 42. And the close friend is sharing details of what caused her death. YouTuber Joanne Jenkins, who featured Jabbar on her live stream frequently, is setting the record straight on the reality TV star. Jenkins says Kiki did not overdose. Kiki did not take her own life. Jenkins said on her YouTube stream, Kiki loved life. Kiki was not ready to leave life. She wasn't ready to leave her children, her husband, and her family. Last night, she turned her car off and she fell asleep. Jenkins continued, her car was not functioning and there was something already wrong with her car. Jenkins said that she was about to share the official statement from her mother about how Jabbar died, adding, so seven something this morning, her husband goes to the garage. He sees Kiki, what he thinks is asleep in the car. He tries to get her attention. He opens the car up. She isn't breathing. Her husband, her life partner, her best friend tried to bring his wife back, the mother of his children, and he couldn't. Kiki passed from carbon monoxide poisoning. That's it. That is all.
Jenkins continues to say, my sister didn't want to leave this earth. She didn't want to leave her kids. She didn't want to leave her husband. There was no turmoil going on in her life. She had a lot of great things to look forward to. So according to a close friend of Kiki's, it is confirmed that Kiki passed away from carbon monoxide poison and her husband found her in the garage and mm, rest in paradise, Kiki. You had so much more to live for and I would have really just loved to see her blossom and get better from the things that she had been struggling with that we saw from the show and I really just would have hoped that she and Tisha's relationship had gotten better but I just pray that her family and friends that they will be doing better in this time and rest in peace Kiki you know and I'm gonna just end it with that y'all I'm gonna see y'all on the next one